Man, with all this Picross that's been happening in my 3DS, I feel like I've been on a logic binge. Then I get a game in my inbox that's got logic right there in the title. See, right there before machines. Now when you mention machines to me, be they logic machines or crazy machines, it immediately makes me think of The Incredible Machine, Sierra's old puzzle series that introduced an entire generation of the concept of Rube Goldberg machines. Who would then go on to watch Mythbusters and that one OK Go music video and be able to appreciate them. The Incredible Machine is the one to which all other machines are compared, and logic machines... logic machines... Well, they stack up rather favorably, despite some strange ancient Egyptian set dressing and the occasional invocation of deities to bless your bouncing a marble into a box. The task in Logic Machines is, well, whatever it tells you. It could be anything, but usually involves knocking something out of the playfield, breaking something, or putting an object in a designated place. To this end, you'll have to add certain components to the puzzle as dictated by each individual stage. They're not really difficult, but getting the physics dialed in can take a little bit of finagling. Really, games like this live and die based on their physics, and Logic Machines manages to make everything work seemingly as you'd expect it to in a consistent manner. Well, as consistent as a magical platform that acts as a portal can possibly work. One of this game's strong points is the ability to rotate most objects in smaller increments than 90 or 180 degrees at a time, allowing a bit more fine-tuning to your designs. Also scattered throughout each puzzle are bonus icons which, if broken, grant points. As though a mere number could justify the delicious satisfaction of solving a logic puzzle. Also included are a number of challenge courses designed specifically to test your mettle by giving you a large task and the absolute bare minimum of equipment to complete it. Case in point, breaking these five bonus icons with just a marble and a plank. It'll take trial and error and more trial and more error just to get the bounce all figured out. But in lieu of a true successor to the incredible machine, I'm willing to appreciate Logic Machine's attempt to step into that spotlight with some new innovations and components though I'm not sold on the idea of all these bonuses as superfluous targets. I could point out some gripes with individual parts though, as drawing fuses for bombs is kind of a pain, and you don't really know which way a generator is going to turn without trying it out first. And let's face it, magic cables are just extension cords, nothing more, nothing less. You don't need a veneer of hieroglyphs and appeals to raw in order to sell me on machine puzzles like this. It would have been fine if I could just pop the freaking balloon without having to worry about what Sekhmet thinks about it. Just hit the marble with the hammer, cross the bouncy shelf, knocking over the bricks. 